Hello everyone. In this uh, video, we are going to discuss about uh, how the security is achieved at the network layer using the popular set of the protocol that is IPsec. IPsec provides the network layer security. Now, let us glance through the security protocols um, at the different layers uh, like application layer, transport layer and the network layer. At the application layer, the communication protocols which are used that are that are HTTP, FTP and SMTP and the security is provided by the protocols which are PGP, SMIME and HTTPS. Now, PGP and SMIME are used for the email security. Transport layer uh, that is uh, communication protocol are TCP, UDP and the security protocols are SSL, TLS, SSH. Now, for the network uh, layer, IPsec uh, IPsec protocol is used for as for over the uh, IP communication protocol to provide the security to the IP layer. Now, uh, IP protocol. Now, uh, with respect to the definition of the IPsec, it is a security layer which is added to the computer protocol stack below the TCP. Now, uh, it is a framework. It is a security framework which is at the network layer. It is it consists of the various set of the protocols. Um, uh, given by designed by IETF that is Internet Engineering Task Force and it provides the security at the network layer as we have discussed, discussed before. Now how the security is provided by uh, authenticating and providing the confidentiality to the packets for the uh, for the IP packets at the for the IP layer. Now uh, this will be transparent to the end users who are using the IPsec uh, framework uh, on their machines. Uh, and uh, therefore it is invisible to the application and uh, it is implemented by additional protocol numbers. So protocol numbers are given in the IP protocol field. Now there are various features of the uh, IPsec like it is not designed to work only for TCP but it also works for the UDP as well. It protects the entire IP packet uh, uh, presented to the IP layer and uh, uh, it is it works from one network entity to another network entity and not from the application process to the another application process so now uh, the most common use of ipsec that is it is used to provide virtual private network either between two locations or between remote user and enterprise network that is from the gateway to gateway that is uh, between two locations and host to gateway so it is used for the uh, implementation Im, implementation of the virtual private network basically now uh, what are the uh, virtual private networks we have uh, we need to know the, that also the so virtual private network that is the allows you to create a secure connection to another network over the internet and it can be used to access restricted website region restricted website which are uh, for the browsing activity now uh, uh, with respect to the virtual private network uh, you can implement the ipsec for uh, the virtual private network by uh, tunneling in the tunnel mode and the transport mode so ipsec uh, these are the ipsec modes wherein the ipsec packets can be either tunnel inside uh, ip packets can be tunneled inside the ipsec packets or transport uh, or it can be transported only with only the data portion of the ip uh, original packet every ipsec n machine must implement ipsec for it to work now what are the things involved in this that is encapsulation encryption and hashing the ip data grants responsible for managing the communication according to the available so we will see all these particular definitions which are there and how encryption and the encapsulation is provided using the in the ipsec it uses uh, security protocols which are two security protocols which are the authentication header and the encapsulation security payload which is called as now let us see about so these are the ipsec features in short uh, let us see about the various applications of the ipsec now this is uh, being used as a secure branch of its connectivity over the network that is company can build um, a secure virtual private network over the internet and uh, this enables a business 
टू डिपेंड ऑन द डिपेंड हैविली ऑन द इंटरनेट सो दिस इज विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू सिक्योर ब्रांच ऑफिस सिक्योर रिमोट एक्सेस ओवर द इंटरनेट मीन्स एंड यूजर हु सिस्टम इज इक्विप्ड विद द आई पी सेक प्रोटोकॉल्स कैन मेक अ लोकल कॉल टू आई एस पी एंड गेन सिक्योर एक्सेस टू द कंपनी नेटवर्क नाउ दिस इज यू कैन एक्सेस ओवर द इंटरनेट टू द आई एस मेक बाय मेकिंग अ लोकल कॉल टू द आई एस पी establishing extranet and intranet connectivity with partners that is ipsec can be used to sec, uh, do the secure communication with other organizations by ensuring the authentication and confidentiality next is the enhancing e-commerce security that is it can be used for the web and the e- electronic uh, commerce applications by using the built-in security protocol which enhances the security now these are the applications of the ipsec like it can be used for the um, uh, e- v- v- variety of applications um, uh, for providing all authentication and encryption to all traffic at the ip level like uh, it can be used in the distributed applications as for the remote log, log on uh, client server applications email application fl- file transfer and the web access application now let us see about what are the things which are provided uh, security mechanisms provided that is it provides authentication confidentiality and the key management protocol which is there now uh, this uh, let us see about the scenario of the ip sec usage now we can see uh, glance through this particular um, networking devices which which are with the ip sec user system with the ip sec now uh, this is the user system without the ipsec but there are the networking devices such as router which are uh, using the ipsec now when the uh, traffic flows that is uh, that is ip packet goes from the network to the internet that is public uh, or the private network it, it may be there it goes through the router and it is uh, the entire ip packet it is being attached with the i uh, ip sec header along with the ip header there is a ip sec header and the uh, secure ip payload that is whatever is the ip payload it is being encrypted with the encryption algorithms and then it goes to the to the public network similarly the when when this particular ip packet goes from one system to the another system it it is now this uh, machine is already using the um, ipsec protocol whereas these machines are not using the ipsec protocol now the networking devices with the ipsec means the protocols operate in the networking devices which are router or it can be firewall also that connect to the lan to the outside world now this will t- uh, encrypt the and compress all the traffic going into the van and decrypt and decompress the incoming and the outgoing traffic so when it will be going uh, this particular ip packet uh, which is ipsec packet we can say it will be going to the network device it will be filtered and it will be going to the machine that is uh, without the ipsec so this is the way in which the router and the uh, router and the firewall can Uh, implement the ipsec packets which is incoming in the outgoing traffic now this is a non secure ip uh, ip traffic we can say and when the ipsec pr- uh, protocols are used then it will become a secure ip packet or the secure payload which is used let us see about the benefits of the ipsec packet so first it can be implemented in the firewall or the router which provides a strong security to all the Uh, traffic uh, which is incoming and the outgoing now it can be also implemented in the firewall and uh, or router we, uh, the traffic which is resistant to uh, resistant to the bypass if all traffic from outside must use ip and the firewall which is um, only means of the entrance from the internet that is all the traffic has to go through the firewall um the for, for the uh, filtering purpose now ipsec is below transport layer and uh, as i have told you before also that it is transferred uh, transparent to the application now 
there is no need to change the software on no user or server system it can be implemented in the firewall or the router now it is transparent to the end users means there is no need to train the users on the security mechanisms especially now it can provide the security for the individual users as well now, now this is useful for the offsite workers etc next we are going to learn about the routing architecture or routing applications which are being used over there the uh, it in addition to supporting end users it is uh, ipsec plays uh, an important role in the routing architecture also so let us see about what uh, ipsec can assure that is first is router adv advertisement which comes from authorized uh, router then neighboring uh, advertisement it, it it is necessary to seek um, to establish or maintain a neighboring relationship with the router if any other router comes uh, from uh, from routing uh, domain from another routing domain now the redirect message comes from the router to which initial ip packet was sent so when initial message is sent at that particular th time we are going to use the re redirect message then routing update will not be forged so these are some of the basic features which will be provided by the uh, assured by the ipsec without such security measure an opponent can disrupt the communication therefore uh, ipsec security uh, features can be employed now with respect to the uh, ip security architecture let us discuss upon that so we have uh, uh, this particular um, uh, documents which have the overview of the security description of the packet authentication then description of the packet encryption and the key management four things are being employed over there now uh, let us see uh, the document ipsec document overview the architecture which is there so architecture covers the gen general concept and the requirements and the definitions and the mechanisms which are providing the ipsec technology now there are two protocols as i have told before first is the authentication header which will be necessary for the message authentication now uh, here uh, it is um, it can be used in the two modes which will be the uh, yeah, tunnel mode and the transport mode ESP and AH both can be used over there ESP that is an encapsulating security payload it is basically used for the encryption purpose it is used to provide the encryption or um, combined encryption or authentication so it can also provide a combined encryption and authentication now uh, there is um, another the, uh, these ESP protocols are related to the encryption and the uh, authentication algorithm you can see esp protocol can provide the encryption as well as the authentication whereas authentication will be providing only the authentication algorithms which are there then we have the domain of interpretation now this is the domain of interpretation which is related uh, where all the concepts are entire concepts of the ipsec are being um, integrated together so uh, uh, and uh, then we have the different kind of key management protocols uh, that is ike we can say that this is called as the internet key exchange uh, protocol used for the uh, ipsec so this is the ipsec architecture we can uh, go through we have gone through now uh, let us see about the ipsec services which are provided the first service which is access control next is the connection in less integrity data origin authentication then uh, rejection of the replay packets this is also one kind of service anti replay service which wherein you are going to use then the confidentiality wherein you are going to provide the encryption purpose and the limited traffic flow uh, limited traffic flow confidentiality now ipsec provides security services at the ip layer and these particularly uh, use different kind of al algorithms which are there that is the uh, encryption algorithms and the uh, authentication algorithms and uses the protocol which are AH and the combined encryption and the authentication which is ESP. Now let us see about the, uh, the how this particular uh, uh, AH and ESP are going to use this access control. Now for example here in this a access control is uh, using uh, this mechanism is being providing the services which are uh, which are used in 
ऑथेंटिकेशन हेडर ईएसपी ऑल्सो एंड एनक्रिप्शन प्लस 